There's a baboon going up the tree and next to it and underneath it and towards it and around it. That is the olive baboon. Very similar behaviour, sounds and everything else to the chakma baboon, but I think a much better looking baboon. We saw some yellow baboons the other day at Diani Beach. And they are a little bit more chakma-like, like the ones we get in South Africa. They are, unsurprisingly though, David, slightly tinged with... Lelo. Lelo, that's right. Well done. They look slightly jaundiced. And they're not, I don't think, nearly as good-looking as these olive chaps. And they'll just be looking for bits and pieces underneath the soil there coming up, termites possibly, some grasshoppers, maybe the old root, rhizome, extremely variable diet, and basically eat whatever they can get hold of. I'm feeling about the same, David, don't you? I might eat anything I can get hold of as well at this stage. Mm -hmm. David's very much looking forward to quiche for breakfast, everybody. Let's carry on. <laughs> All right, well, I dream about the quiche and dream about what's going to be in the quiche, and David doesn't. Let's head across to Byron, who I believe has got number 180. That's 100.